<laughs> this is kind of funny actually. Like, I feel like this one seal here would get more attraction than a famous person being around this area. Like, it's just, it, there's just people like pulling over the side of the road and it's just piling up more and more and more. Oh, there it is. It's right there. It's so close. What is up ladies and gentlemen? So, sorry to take you away from the Tuk Tuk tournament videos, but I have a bit of spare time now around Colombo, and Tal and I have heard that there is a seal around Colombo. So, we really want to see it. This is gonna be an up-to-date video. We're gonna check it out right now, right today. We are pumped. We cannot believe there's a seal around Colombo, and we're gonna see what it's all about. Let's do it. Uh, the joys of driving back in the city again. We are back to back with traffic. I don't know how. It's only like 10 p.m. at the moment. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. <laughs> Not 10 p.m. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> and the traffic is horrible. We're currently on Ocean Road. So this is from what we've heard last is where the seal is hanging around. And we've heard too, like, we got to spot some crowds. If we have crowds around the beach, then they're most likely uh, hanging around the seal. So hopefully, we'll be able to spot it around this area. All right, I really didn't have much hope of finding this seal, but we have found it. There's a huge crowd of people just ahead of us and they're definitely looking at the sea. I think that could be it. I think there's something right out in the water, so that could be it. But we found it, we found the seal. Oh my God. All right, let's go spot it. All right, so as you can see, there's heaps of people lining up along the beach, all to see this seal. And this is a very iconic moment because it's the first time a seal has been spotted around this area in Colombo. Um, and this is actually an elephant seal too. So I've never even seen an elephant seal in my whole life. But I think, yeah, you can see it now. It's sort of just like bobbing its head out of the water. It doesn't really look too much like a seal from this distance, but if I get my zoom lens in, I'll be able to get a better look. So zoom it. So Tal and I have come probably 15 minutes out of our way to come see the seal, and I really hope I'm wrong, but there's a possibility that this seal is dead. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of just, it's got its head like right out of the water, just bobbing its head out of the water. It's not moving at all. It's just head sticking out of the water like a boy, and it hasn't moved an inch. It's literally just floating with the tide. Um, so this is, this would be kind of awkward if the seal's dead. For your video, Brandon, I just jumped into that crowd of people to find out if the seal is alive. Unfortunately, the seal is very much alive. Oh, for real? He is. Oh. <laughs> I actually spoke to a guy who I think knows a lot about seals yeah. over there. Apparently people from the Wildlife Commission have been stationed here to watch the animal. And he said he has been swimming around, he's just taking a little rest right now, but he is very much alive. All right. Okay. Well, that's good to know. There you go. <laughs> seal is not dead. It's alive. Just chilling it. So apparently this elephant seal has been in Sri Lanka for almost two weeks now. Like it started in Medigama, so down south of Sri Lanka. And it's been around this area for probably a week's time. Um, so one of our friends informed us that it was around here. And like it's, it's a big thing. Like it's been on the news for a long time too. Uh, and from our friend's videos, like the seal is very lively and very active. But I know someone... One of the locals says it's alive, but still, I don't know. It hasn't moved. Can, if someone knows a little bit more about seals, can you please leave a comment below and t tell me if a seal looks like this, bobbing its head up and down out of the water, just bobbing along, is it like sleeping or is it chilling out or is it just dead? Please 
I hope it's not dead. At the start of the year, back home in Australia, we kind of had the same situation as this, like sort of similar. We had a New Zealand fur seal like wash up on our beach and it stayed there for like a whole few weeks, I think. And like it becomes so popular to the area, everyone knew it and they even gave it a name like Neil the Seal. I don't know if this one has a name yet, like it's so iconic. Everyone knows the seal, like everyone comes to see the seal. And if it sticks around for a bit longer, I feel like it should have a name. So what do you think people? What shall we name the Colombo seal? All right, so Colombo seal update, minute 30. <laughs> We're just looking at it and then all of a sudden, boop, just bopped its head down. So we don't know, oh, there it is actually. Just popped up on the surface. It's coming up nice and close. But the seal is awake, it's alive, and it's coming towards us. So there we go. Hopefully it's gonna come right up on the rocks. <laughs> this is kind of funny actually. Like I feel like this one seal here would get more attraction than a famous person being around this area. Like it's just, it, there's just people like pulling over the side of the road and it's just piling up more and more and more. Right, there it is. It's right there. It's so close. So quick reminder, if you're ever around train tracks, be careful because trains are always coming by here quite constantly. So don't get run over. So this is always one of the challenges around the cities is figuring out where you parked. We have no idea where we parked up the tuk-tuk. Issue is we're in the biggest city now yeah. too. So there's like... And there's a lot of red tuk-tuks and we got a red tuk-tuk. Like they all look so similar. The main difference to us is it has the tuk-tuk rental sticker on it. So. I have no idea where we put it. Where the hell did we park it? Well, I don't even know where we started. We walked for a while, but... I, I think it's either all the way up here or all the way down there. I think it's, I think it's more down. I think it's more down. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find it eventually. All right, here it is. <laughs> After like minutes of searching, we figured out that we parked it a lot further than we expected. Like this seal moves a fair bit. And as always, Having the tuk-tuk rented by the beloved tuktukrental.com makes life so much easier to get around so we can quickly head off, go get some lunch and then head back to the tuk-tuk rental and get ourselves some fresh coconuts. That was the best seal of a time. That was, <laughs> I had a seal of a time. <laughs> All right, food, 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 it's time for food. So we are back in Mount Lavinia. We have gone to a lot of places for food in Mount Lavinia but we haven't come to this place yet. We are currently a pot biryani. So let's go see what this place has to offer. So this is a bit different to what we expected. So it's not your typical restaurant. Uh, this place is literally just a takeaway place. So you come and order here, and right there they got the restaurant. But I like how they have this. So on the menu, so it's the menu over here. You got your biryani. Oops, I broke it. <laughs> you got your biryani pot rice, and it serves like two, four, six, or eight and they show like how big of the servings are going to be so like this pot is serves two and serves four and if you're extremely hungry for a whole entire family you can get this but we're getting some delicious biryani brother all right so we're back at the tuk tuk rental with the team and it is time to have this delicious biryani food so what do we got here what are we dealing with got Authentic biryani. We got mutton biryani. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And as usual, to eat food throughout Sri Lanka, these are utensils. So you just get a good handful like that. And then this is like your thumb. It's like a shovel. So you just shovel it in. Mm. Oh wow. That is good. How about that? It's a tasty biryani. So my mouth is kind of on fire at the moment after eating that biryani. It's a bit spicy, but 
Now, I'm gonna have myself a nice fresh coconut because I'm gonna have to admit, I kinda got a coconut addiction, guys. I am addicted to coconuts. Ever since I've been to Sri Lanka, I feel like I've had a coconut once a day, every day since I've been here. These king coconuts are just so addicting. But throughout Tyler and I's adventures over the past two weeks, we decided to invest in a coconut knife and we've just been like buying a bunch of coconuts everywhere we go. But it's time to crack this bad boy open. All right, so the trick to cutting off coconut is you just kind of got to hack one end off. This is going to be a very bad cut because over time, we have used this knife a lot now and it is extremely blunt. It may not look the cleanest, like the cleanest cut, but it's gonna do the job. There we go. Oh, beauty. Lovely. And that right there. Oh yeah. That is a nice cut. And there we go. Nice, fresh. Mm. Cane coconut. Damn, that is good. Okay, so that's my quick little adventures for today. So I really wanted to get a video out of that seal because I feel like it's a very iconic moment to see it. Like it's, it's very rare that a seal comes along this area around Colombo, especially. Um, and I'm very glad we were here to witness that. And of course, it has been on the news so much like these past few days and so many locals have been coming over to see this seal. So yeah, leave the comments below guys. Who has actually seen that seal? and has it been like very active the days you've seen it? Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So of course, I during my previous videos and my videos to come, I'm still in the Tuk Tuk tournament. I'm now finished the Tuk Tuk tournament. This is like a month ahead. Um, but yeah, be sure to watch all those videos if you haven't guys, because the Tuk Tuk tournament is absolutely epic and it has been a wild adventure. And after the tournament, I spent two weeks with Tal, so you saw him before, and we ventured around like all north of Sri Lanka. So there's plenty more adventures to come, guys. So this is just like a qu quick little sneak peek of what's been happening. And oh, also, so this is the place that I've been staying at. So this is Tuk Tuk Rental. I've been staying here for like over the past month. They have just been an amazing company to let me stay here for a while while I edit videos. Um, and they just got such a good business with all the tuk-tuks. So be sure to check out tuktukrental.com if you want to get yourself a tuk-tuk. Um, but yeah, from there, thanks for watching. Follow your dreams, escape the comfort zone, and I'll be seeing you on a tuk-tuk adventure. Cheers. But wait, I have one more thing I really want to inform you on. So on December 21st, we are be going to be doing a Colombo meetup. So me, Tal from the Traveling Clat, and Wonder Boy Jeremy from his YouTube channel. We are all going to be meeting up in Mount Lavinia at the Turtle Conservation Station on the December 21st at 11 a.m. So if you are in the area or if you're just a local that wants to meet up, be sure to come by and say hello and we'll also be doing a beach cleanup around the area as well. So join in on the fun and see you there.